James Etta Butler, affectionately known as Etta, was born on September 24, 1937, in Knowlton, Arkansas, to the union of Jim and Doja Hargraves. She was the second of six sisters and one brother. She was previously married for many years to William Oscar Butler and was a proud parent of Rochelle Renee Butler Stevenson and William Oscar Butler II, affectionately known as Billy. I live for Etta through her love and compassion that's been passed on from her to her son, my father, and into me, her grandchild, William Butler IV. Etta came to Brooklyn as a teenager to live with her late aunt, Esther Hargraves, and attend New York City public schools. She retired from Drexel Burnham Lambert an investment bank on Wall Street, and afterwards from PS380, where she worked as a paraprofessional working with special needs children. This was one of her greatest passions, working with children. Quality time was my favorite activity with my grandmother. I loved just being in her presence and talking to her about any and everything. I loved that even though I shared her with my siblings and my cousins, there were some things that she set aside just for me and her to do. Saturday was the day Grandma did her errands, and if she had to go downtown Brooklyn, I was going because I knew after all the errands were done, we would end up at our spot, Junior's. Our order was the same. She would get pancakes, I would get French toast, and we would split a ham and cheese omelet. We would sit and talk about everything. I would share with her ideas I had, and she would always encourage me to see them through. Being around her was my favorite place. Whether we were walking, riding the bus, watching Shark Week, or sitting in church, being in her presence was something special, and she gave the best hugs. Missing you dearly. Love, your Yana Bear. Etta accepted Christ at an early age and remained a devout Christian for her entire life. Her favorite scripture was Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I live for Etta to be creative, humble, and be kind to others. Jasmine Butler, granddaughter. She was a faithful member of the Cornerstone Baptist Church in Brooklyn, New York for over 55 years. Some of her previous activities in church were the superintendent of the Beginners Department Sunday School, a member of the Missionary Society, a member of the Rodman's Senior Citizen Group, and a former member of the BTU, Baptist Training Union. I live for all the times you would make cream cheese pound cake and Ayana and I would discuss who gets the bowl or the spoon whenever you had leftover batter for us. I live for your hugs, I live for your kisses, and I'll always live for your smile. I live for Etta. Much love and hugs, Jacqueline Stevenson, granddaughter. In the early morning hours of Saturday, May 23rd, 2010, Etta was peacefully called home from earthly labor to heavenly reward and rest. She had been in Wyckoff Hospital in their hospice unit. She is preceded in death by one sister, Emma Hargraves, and one brother, Peter Hargraves. You twirl in a yellow cotton dress a flower from an aerial view, with a grin that reaches toward a patch of the blue sky off yonder in the warm hue of the sun. Your cream-colored souls dig and hug the compost of the cotton field, blanketed by the warmth of the sun. Simultaneously, the tips of your fingernails graze the surface of the leaves and the cotton of the cotton plants. In rows, 
like tombstones. You say, as you depart, I'll return. I'll be back home soon. Untitled by William Butler IV. Left with precious memories are her two children, Renee and Billy, four grandchildren, Ayanna Stevenson, Jacqueline Stevenson, Jasmine Butler, and William Butler IV. Four sisters, Esther Melvin from Memphis, Tennessee, Martha Hargraves Miller of Amityville, New York, Bernice Rice of Huntsville, Alabama, and Naomi Brown of Santa Ana, California. She also leaves to mourn her first cousin, mentor, friend, and oldest living relative in the family, Ollie Fraley of Brooklyn, New York. Additionally, she leaves a host of nieces, nephews, great nieces, great nephews, second cousins, godchildren, adopted grandchildren, and many loving friends. This is truly our loss, but heaven's gain. Father, in thy gracious keeping, leave we now our loved ones sleeping. In lieu of flowers, Etta would hope that you would perform an unexpected, unsolicited act of kindness for someone less fortunate and in need during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. Respectfully submitted, the family. <laughs>